guys it's six o'clock in the evening and um, I decided to come film a video I'm gonna try and do a bit of shark fishing um, and my girlfriend recently got me this go fish cam so we're gonna test that out for the first time and see if we can see anything swimming out there I did my first bridal job um, on this little bonita head right there so that's what we're gonna be using for bait yeah I'm gonna get rigged up and walk it out there and see if we can get hooked into anything all right we got the cap off of this go fish cam we just turn it on wait for the green light to flash or turn solid yeah turn solid i think and then we hit the red and then once it starts flashing that means it's recording i believe yep so that should be recording the other thing I'm gonna do is keep this floaty on. I know it's for like bobber style fishing uh, so that you can have the camera going down and looking at your bait. But um, I figure with my sinker out this way, the bobber will kind of float up a little bit and um, give me a good shot down at the bait. So um, we're gonna try that and hopefully that gives us a good angle. All right, so now we got our go fish cam down to our sinker down to our Bonita head. That's the rig. Time to go launch it. All right guys, let's go ahead and look at some of this footage. Um, I'm actually kind of bummed because this is the last time I was able to view footage on this camera. The next day, which I show later on in the video, I end up losing this camera, which sucks, but Go Fish Cam actually sent me a new one um, really fast within the next week. So shout out to them. I definitely recommend getting one of these cameras because they just have really good customer service and they're great people to buy from. So we got a bunch of catfish swimming around. We had a pompano that I saw swim by just a minute ago. Um, oh, no, there it is right there. Yep, pompano swim by. But yeah, most, I mean, most of this trip has been a ton of catfish just swimming around my bait. I really haven't seen a ton of sharks. I think those are called spotted crabs. If you know what they are, you can put it down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they're called spotted crabs. Um, but yeah, haven't really seen a ton of shark activity except for top water first thing in the morning. I've been getting hit pretty hard on top water baits. Um, still haven't actually got one in though. Um, they either break me off or I don't get a good hookup. But yeah, I'm glad I got this Go Fish Cam. It, it shows a lot of really cool perspectives. Um, and I think it's really good for learning. You know, you can have a bait out all day and um, not actually know what's going on with it. So this really puts into perspective what all is going on out on the ocean floor. Um, but for me, as you can see, it's mostly catfish. I will say this definitely will teach you that you need to be switching at your bait or at least checking on it at least every uh, 15 to 30 minutes I'd say. Uh, that's a really cool shot, that's really clear. One thing I've really loved with this camera is um, seeing the blood and the scent come out of my cup bait, which you know, I, I know Benita is really bloody, but it reminds me of um, Dory hitting her nose in uh, Finding Nemo, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I think Benita is definitely the way to go. There's just a lot of scent coming off of it. There's another pompano right there. That's a good shot of the pompano. All right, guys, let's uh, go ahead and get back to the video, and you guys can um, watch me lose this Go Fish Cam. All right, guys, we're gonna try shark fishing again this evening. Uh, but first thing we gotta do is catch some fresh bait. We used all of our bonita up this morning, so we're gonna go after a ladyfish or something, and um, yeah, get some fresh bait to throw on the hook. I'm seeing tons of ladyfish jumping up here, so. Hopefully it shouldn't be that hard. There's some jumping right there.
they're all over the place. Let's see if I can just reel it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Did it come off? No, oh, it's still on. Tons of lady fish. Hopefully I can keep this guy on. No way. I hope those are Spanish. Oh, quick release. Yeah, I don't know what the um, limit on those is, length-wise. Oh, that might not be good, because I, I think they got to be longer for us to keep them. So, hopefully I can hook into a ladyfish. Oh, got hit again. So I've noticed, that was my second Spanish, and I've noticed pretty fast that they really don't bite at all. Which is interesting, because I thought that they would um, be really good fighters, honestly. Oh my goodness, there's something huge. Oh, that's a big gar. There's a huge gar right in front of me. I've never, um, I've never seen a saltwater gar. At least a big one. That's crazy. He doesn't want this either. He knows exactly what it is. Alright. I checked the size limit for the Spanish and it's um, a minimum of 12. I think all the ones I've caught have been over 12. So we should be good there. Um, I switched over to this silver cripple herring. So that should match the bait fish that they're feeding on a lot better. Oh. I was hooked up for a second. Tons of lady fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're all around me. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a good lady fish. That's a good lady fish. Don't come off. I need you. That is a good lady fish. Do not come off. Fight so dang it came right off. Man, I needed that fish. The lady fish fight so much harder than the Spanish, it's crazy. Oh my goodness, there's so many fish, it's not even funny. Oh, got one, got one. There we go. That's another good one. Man, these fish fight so hard. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's another Spanish. <laughs> He's got so many fish in him. Oh, let him go. I really want a lady fish, so that's okay. He actually, um, that one fought pretty hard, honestly. Oh my goodness, these fish are just all over the place. They're, just, they're blowing up right in front of me, oh my goodness. Oh, there's one, got him. <laughs> this is so much fun, honestly. Is it a Spanish or a lady? Feels like a Spanish. Oh, it came off. Oh, just got hit. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a good fish. It's a real good fish. <laughs> I say that. They all kind of feel the same. Some just have like more of an initial fight than others. Oh, that's another Spanish. They're all about the same size too. if I can get this guy off. They, just, they really don't like to calm down. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's a little bit, a little stunned. There you go. I think I can use the Spanish as bait, but, um, I'm not quite sure. So I want to make sure that, you know, I, I know 100% that I can. And also, I mean, there's just more of a game fish. The lady fish are at least a bait fish. I don't really feel great about using the Spanish as bait fish. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. That's a ladyfish. That's a ladyfish. Come on, I gotta get you in. Gotta get it to me and grab it with aggression. I need this fish. It's gonna freak out as soon as it sees me though. They're slippery. I forgot how slippery they were. There you go. Don't go anywhere. Right, got my ladyfish. See if I can hopefully make it back with it. Got our string attached to the hook to bridle the bait to it. Start out using the tail. Gonna just put the needle right below the spine. I actually should cut that tail. I'm gonna cut that tail after I do this. Make sure I don't hook myself. There we go. Put the string on. into that other side wrap the hook around a few times so it's tight and then just hook back into it we're gonna turn on our go fish cam real fast Not really liking this hook placement. It's kind of twisting on me. Oh well, we'll trust it. We had that one shark that we saw earlier today, so I know they're in here. We gotta try and get this thing out as far as I possibly can. Try and not chicken out and just keep on walking. It gets sketchy though. Like once you get past the first sandbar, and you start getting to the point where you're in the blue water and um, you can't see the bottom, it's it pretty scary. Right, there's the sandbar. All right, I think this is deep enough. That was pretty good. My line just went slack. got clipped off. That really sucks. Lost my go fish cam and everything. Yep. Just took everything straight off. That sucks. Well guys, I'm still just really upset about losing that camera. Um, I, I went and typed my drag real fast and started reeling in and it was just black line and I got to the tip you know where it was cut off so 